Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining the first ever virtual Asia Pacific MedTech Forum. Last October, I was honored to take the stage and formally open the fifth forum for the first time in my capacity as chairman of APAC Med. I could not have imagined that one year on, I would not have the pleasure of seeing you all here live in Singapore. Now, the world has indeed changed, and with it, our industry and the entire healthcare ecosystem. APAC Med's mission, though, has not changed. Advancing standards of care and ensuring high quality, accessible, and affordable healthcare for patients across Asia Pacific has never resonated so powerfully. Our 2020 theme, Agility in Healthcare, is therefore spot on and builds on last year's theme of connected care. The pandemic drove an acceleration of virtual and home care as hospitals sought to reduce inpatient admissions, making connected care or connecting with patients a standard to drive for and improve upon. Last year, our speakers and delegates spent two days exploring the potential of connected care and its role in improving patient outcomes, reducing costs, and improving patient engagement. Today, though, there's no doubt that telehealth, virtual, and connected home care are the future of healthcare, not only convenient, safe, and more accessible for all, but enhanced with predictive analytics in some cases, thus truly transforming care particularly impacting Asia Pacific, home to over half of the world's population. COVID-19 is by no means behind us now, but reflecting on these last eight months, I am both proud and humbled, witnessing how we, as an industry at the forefront of the pandemic, responded to challenges brought by this crisis and collectively stepped up in these times. As a group, we demonstrated high agility, critically responding to the pressing demands and challenges facing overworked and stretched healthcare providers, who work tirelessly. Our new products and innovative solutions have never come faster or had to. The crisis also impacted our businesses differently. In some cases, elective surgery procedures saw drastic demand reductions. In critical therapies, though, some businesses ramped up production two to five fold, working their way around global supply chain constraints, ensuring patients could have access to these life-saving solutions and devices. Internally, we transformed working cultures overnight. Virtually, clinical and sales teams found new ways to meet with healthcare providers. Technical service teams overcame challenging frontline risks to swiftly repair equipment in hospitals with video and virtual reality, and R&D adjusted accordingly. But what unified us all across the med tech industry was our sense of purpose. This is seen in the APAC Med paper recently published with Deloitte entitled Improving Health and Transforming Lives, which calls out the value of med tech today. The sense of purpose and resilience drove our APAC Med team throughout 2020, and I'm proud to see how this organization has gone from strength to strength under CEO Harjit Gill. APAC Med has seen phenomenal membership growth this past year, now counting over 180 members, from MNCs to smaller startups, national trade association counterparts, and associate members. This is up 50% from last year. The team successfully pivoted as well to virtual events, starting with our AGM in February and organizing over 20 webinars, each attended by hundreds of delegates since the month of March. We continue to engage in dialogue with providers, authorities, and decision makers across the region. In 2020, we expanded our scope to the Digital Health Committee, triggering a new way to engage country policymakers and painting a clear intersection, a way to partner with technology companies in the medtech ecosystem. This is clearly seen in our speaker list today. We also expanded our footprint in India with a representative office, and our plans are still underway for a China office in the coming future. We welcome the expanded collaboration with country medtech associations where our regulatory, policy, and digital strategy focus benefits us all more than ever. This year's program is nothing short of spectacular. With five global CEOs joining, dozens of insightful interviews, and panel discussions featuring our regional president board members senior medical and tech leaders, and thought leadership partners, McKinsey, Deloitte, and LEK. We also bring a new edition of the MedTech Innovator Competition. By expanding our participation to the technology ecosystem as well, we better represent the new digital and connected reality. We hope you will enjoy the sessions. I hope you will. And I join us for virtual drinks at the end of the day. Please do take time to visit our virtual booths during the breaks. And I do look forward to speaking to a number of you personally in track one in the Meet the CEO series and in track four on the telehealth panel. Sincere thanks once again to the APAC Med team, the event organizers, and of course, our generous sponsors. And thanks to all of you for believing in the forum 
and constantly helping us to innovate and bring unique, insightful content and inspiring speakers to our loyal delegates. And now, as our first speaker of the day, I'm delighted to introduce Ashley McAvoy, Worldwide Chairman, Medical Devices, Johnson & Johnson. In the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, Ashley has mobilized her teams to partner with healthcare professionals, systems, and patients to, to educate on safely reentering the healthcare ecosystem, as well to ensure people everywhere receive access to the treatment they need. Ashley joined us in Singapore as a keynote speaker in 2018, and we're grateful she's joined us again this year to share her insights on agility and leadership with Martin Elling, senior partner with McKinsey.